How's it going guys? RXXC aka The Raging Cajun here. Thank you guys for tuning in to this cool little run of Digimon videos that we're doing right now. Um, again, if you missed the first video for this 1.0 format, check out the last video posted on this channel. Um, that is a video between Blue Omnimon and Purple, two really good decks that we have kind of ter uh, termed as the two best decks in the 1.0 format currently. That could change obviously at the time of this video. Um, but today we have two a little bit lower tier decks. I'm not going to say that they're bad whatsoever. Um, one is green. Uh, green is one that people are a, a lot of people are a fan of, um, but can be considered not exactly the best. Um, but they, it does have a lot of tools. It has things like Puppetmon. It has Tidemon, which is a level two, level six, or excuse me, two to two to evolve level six. Uh, that is 12k, which is really cool. Um, and you have a lot of really cheap Evo things. And I talk about that while we play the game, so don't worry about that. Um, and in the second deck we're playing is a deck that I got uh, the idea from True Champ Steven. Go check out his video um, on this Tyranimon deck. Uh, it is a cool red Tyranimon deck that runs Taiga, which is a green um, uh, tamer card that kind of buffs up Tyranimon. Uh, it gives it piercing, and also if you tap your Taiga, you can play a Tyranimon uh, Digivolution for one less. Um, so it's a really cool... Uh, idea um, and it's one that I think it could be like a fringe idea but it does actually work in practice um, and I, I've been testing it a lot mostly against green uh, so I haven't proven this deck to be you know like amazing or anything but in my personal opinion it's really fun to play um, because I love getting out Tyranimons really quickly obviously you have Metal Tyranimon which is a level 5 that can become a uh, it, depending on how many Tigas you have, a, a 3 to 0 cost level 5 that can have piercing and with the babies under it get up to 12k um, on a level 5, which is really cool. So, I really hope y'all enjoy this video. It's going to be a really good match um, and we're going to have more stuff after this. Uh, once we get all these decks out, we are planning to do some live streaming. Uh, so that we can actually just get a lot of games out, uh, content for everybody to enjoy. Um, but until then, uh, we're going to be pumping out these kind of 1.0 deck videos. Um, uh, deck profiles, we're trying to figure out what we want to do with them, if I want to throw them in the video. I don't tend to want to do deck profile videos, but if everybody really wants that, uh, I will do what the people want. Uh, that is what I do around here. That is why I'm making Digimon videos currently. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna see you at the table and I hope you all enjoy the match. See y'all later. All right guys, we are here at the table. Thanks for sticking through the intro. Um, like I said, we are playing a few more decks. These are a little more obscure, even though the hands on the right side of the screen don't think so. Uh, placed pretty high at the last two turns. Uh -huh. uh, 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 arguably second. Should have been two second places. Yeah, who won the first one? Uh, look, the only deck that this deck has lost to is blue, the exact blue Omnimon you've seen already. Yeah. So, Twice. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so saying that, yes, uh, green, which is on the right side here, um, is only really playable one way um, right right now in 1.0 because you have things like Puppetmon that lets you do things and you're wanting to constantly tap things to do green things, which are tapping things and attacking things. I said things about seven times right there, but it's okay. I will say arguably green is one of the better decks. Uh, you've seen purple and you've seen blue. Those two we told you then were the two best decks in the format right now. Um, but these these two, this is uh, not proven at all yet. Uh, like I said, I pulled this from True Champ Steven. We changed the list a bit. Uh, it's not the same exact list he posted in his video. I will recommend go watching that because he does some gameplay and He's always really good at explaining his cards and his deck videos and stuff like that. Um, but this deck seems to be pretty okay, even though I believe it loses to purple. Um, but that hasn't been tested yet either, only series. He rolled a three, I rolled a two. You go first, sir. This deck has beaten purple in a tournament. <laughs> what deck? This one. Oh, the green deck? Yeah. All right, two, three, four, five, crap. Alright, I'm gonna raise, and I'm going to Evo, so I'm gonna draw, Ooh, what do I want to do? <laughs> I'm gonna go into Woodmon. Alright, uh, normally a green strategy for those of you who are new to it and everything, 
um, is playing cards uh, that cost really cheap to Evo. Uh, and then as we get into the 1.5 format later, uh, you will see that uh, be magnified a lot because they do that quite often. Um, I don't have a level three. Oop. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes here on this side of the table. Um, so because of that, it'll put you to one by playing my Taiga. Technically no mulligans in the rule book. Um, it is a best of two format in the rule book, which uh, I don't like to let my videos run that long, so you don't see too many best of twos. But anytime we live stream or anything, which we're planning on doing here soon, uh, you, you'll see best of two from us. Best of three. I don't know why I keep saying that. Sorry. I'm Normally it only takes me two to win. <laughs> Metal tiger animal. <laughs> All right, you put me a one. Yep. I will draw. That is not the card I wanted to see. Does not help me. Give me memory. Still no threes, folks. So we gotta go in for the kill here. Just kidding. It's just a blocker. There you go. I'm at four. Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Of race. <laughs> Tanamon. Little. This card's a uh, reference to the Digimon World 1 game. Um, Tanamon is the one that gives you the little meat sticks in the meat garden. <laughs> and so that card art is a reference to that. It's pretty cool. You are behind. So I'm going to play Puppetmon. No. No, you're, you're evolving the Puppetmon. Evolving into Puppetmon. Puppemon uh, up on the screen here. Uh, I don't think you see him on the channel yet. You, on play, which he didn't do, uh, you rest something and then anything that's rested on your opponent's side does not unrest until their next turn. Also gonna Evo my little boy into Mushroom Mon. Mushroom Mon, a level Mushroom three ball. that cost one to evolve. We're going to swing security. That is fine. You will hit Metal Tyrannomon, which... I did you evolve this turn, so I'm at 11k. So Tanamon's inheritable, puts him up. Uh, I will also gain a memory from attacking. From Puppetmon's ability, yep. And then I will play down Goblinmon. Goblinmon, all right. Yeah, so another thing Green uh, is trying to do a lot of the time uh, would be uh, choking your opponent on memory uh, because it does not have a lot of cards that cost too much. Things like Flower Cannon cost two, your Goblin Mon cost two, you got a couple Evos for one, so you're looking at things like that. Uh, I don't have a good hand here, folks, at all, whatsoever. I just want to point out Puppet Mon is okay to Evo into. You do not always have to play him down. Uh, maybe. Tap my Taiga to play Metal Tyrannomon for two. So put him at one. That'll pass the turn. I draw for evolving though. Interesting. Draw. What's interesting is my hand. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird over here too. Uh, what's the ideal thing? We're going to Kabuterimon. Draw. more interesting. I'm going to swing with Puppet Mon. Omni Mon. Hits 15k in security and Puppet Mon goes down. That is a risky take. Uh, Evo again. So Vegemon for one. Your one cost level four Evos, guys. Very important. Green has a lot of them. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, but things like Dark Tyrannomon in red, Gorillamon in, in blue, um, Here's, okay. very valuable cards. This was not played this turn, correct? Nope, we digivolved it though. 
Okay. Swing security. 6k into 6k. 6K. I will swing security again. 5k into 3k. Perfect. And then I will play down Vegemon. For four. All right, I'll draw for turn. And we got there, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear your freaking applause. This stands. Um, let's see. We might be able to catch back up a little bit this turn. Uh, tap a Taiga to make this one cost Evo, Tyrannomon. Uh, this is the red Tyrannomon. He has um, jamming. Excuse me. Um, Monodramon and my two costs, level three. Oh, Taiga gives any Tyrannomon piercing. So this is a 10k piercing at Kabuterimon. Piercing means it goes through the Digimon into the security stack and performs a security check. Um, I played my Monodrum on this turn. He will not be um, getting any bigger right now. Uh, but I will go um, into a Dark Tyranimon here. Draw a card. Um, and I'm only going to do this. How many cards do you have in here? Uh, five. Five. Uh, I'm doing this because I do not want to lose the game next turn, but it is risky, so I'm going to play Gaia Force cool. and kill his Vegemon. Seems absurd to pay eight right there, but now he can't technically attack me next turn because he has nothing on the board, unless he has a Mimi, but he doesn't have it yet. Um, Rage. Which is a possible thing. Evo. Evo up the chain to try to get something on the board. <laughs> what am I at? Six. Oh, that's weird. Be weird, man. Go against the green. Uh, what am I at? What am I at? Four security. Only takes two, and you have two more. What? Yeah, it's. I am doing big brain math right now. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, I am going to play Woodmon down. And it will put me to one. It's a blocker. And then I am also going to play down Titamon and put him to Dropping nine. Titamon. Cool. Draw. We'll restand my Metal Tyranimon and bring up my normal Tyranimon. Restand my Taiga. And let's play the game. Um, four can go to five here. One, two, three. Uh, let's tap that. Go here. Draw. <laughs> uh, my four can go to <laughs> a five. One, two, three. So we have Three Metal Tyranimon, draw for evolving. Uh, these all have piercing. Um, we are hoping for the double flower cannon whiff. Hmm. I need to draw more cards here. Monodramon will go into Dark Tyranimon for one, draw. That doesn't help me either. Let's, uh, we're gonna swing with this one while it has piercing because of Baby Dramon. Uh, he is at 12k with piercing. Swinging. Uh, we will swing with this one. 10k piercing. Uh, and 10k. Sure. Do much here, unfortunately. Mm. 
Yeah, looks like I'm coming up short here. All I can do is put him at one with the ground drum on and draw. All right, so draw, raise, swing security. See if he wins the game. Oh my God, doesn't matter, he's got a blocker. Yeah. <laughs> that was the reason for not swinging. Yeah, so that's room. a good learning point there. Um, because I'm playing Tiger, this deck plays Flower Cannon. He knows that, but maybe if you threw this deck into a tournament, nobody would know. But um, if you have this situation where you're attacking security and you have a blocker and you know you might be running into a Flower Cannon, you wanna make sure that you're leaving one of your blockers up, especially if it's a lethal kill. Um, because Flower Cannon won't tap a blocker in security. Uh, so I'm glad that happened for the video. I'm sad I lost though. Uh, but as you can, I'm sure you're understanding this deck's pretty cool because of the things you can do with this. I mean, if you have two or three Taiga out, like if you hit a Taiga in security and get an extra one for free, uh, this becomes very dangerous. Um, I mean, you know, you have these two guys to get up to. ho -Oh Mon's only two. You can go up to uh, Phoenix Mon, sorry. You can go up to Omnimon from there. Uh, but green, that's kind of green things. It chokes you out on memory. I mean, I had a couple turns where I was sitting right here on the memory gauge and I couldn't do much. So um, take with that what you will. Uh, green is cool. I talk bad about it a lot, but <laughs> it, it, it is, in my opinion, the number three deck right now. Um, probably realistically number four, uh, cause you'd probably go blue Omni, red Omni, purple, green. Um, and that's just kind of what we're looking at here. And if we do everything as planned, you'll see all four of those videos, or four of those decks here on the channel. You've already seen two uh, and three here. This is, uh, again, kind of fringe. It hasn't been proven yet, but in my opinion, I think this is a perfectly fine deck to go to. It's cheaper on the cheaper end because you don't have many rares that you're hunting for. Um, you do have to find some Taigas uh, and of course Omnimon. But other than that, the rest of it is commons and. Uh, your Tyranimons here are rares. So a relatively cheap deck. But thank you guys for watching. Just like we said in the last video, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I know a lot of people are new to the game. Uh, me and Cameron are hunting down the comments and trying to answer them as best we can. Uh, subscribe and like the video if you feel like it. Uh, we're going to be posting a lot more Digimon stuff here coming up. Uh, we already recorded two videos tonight and we're probably going to get on a roll and start doing some stuff. Uh, we'll have kind of a meta analysis slash what you want to look for video. Uh, coming out here pretty soon, kind of in the same style we did with the tournament analysis we did a while back on the channel. Go check that out. But until y'all, till we see y'all next time, appreciate you being here and say bye to the hands. Bye. How's it going, guys? Uh, not our triple XC here, or Raging Cajun as he is now known. It is Puddle Hopper, also known as Lane. And this video, we're gonna see. Tyranimon get the thwacky from green. Green is very good. Don't let all your friends tell you green is bad. Green is not bad. Get on board the green Green's, bandwagon. Green's not the best. Green this is, is amazing. Green has made it to finals in you two in-person tourneys. You took my glasses. Two um, in-person tourneys. Hi. Green good. This is Green not. good. I hope this makes a blooper reel. I pray this is at the end of a video, but Good, good, not bad. Very no good. good, very yes. good card. This is no good. Good card, good card, good card. Good card. Uh, as you'll see in this video, stay tuned. <laughs>